Hey there, it's David Bear here from Bear on Marketing, and in this video, I'm going to walk you through uh, an early beta version of a new piece of software called Groove Pages. Now, this is a new tool that's uh, going to be launching onto the market um, on the the 8th of December 2019, uh, and um, right now I'm inside an early version of it. Uh, there adding new features every day, in fact, uh, several times a day. And so I'm not quite sure what the latest updates are uh, in here since I've been playing. But I'm going to st uh, start by making a brand new site. Now, um, I don't have any templates in here yet, but uh, there will be new templates going in uh, so that you have a place to start um, as opposed to just a raw page or a, or a blank page. But in this case, uh, we're going to start from a blank page. And let me show you um, some, some basic stuff. So as you can see already, it's really clean. Um, you have all of your different views from the different devices that you might uh, be using. Uh, you have uh, blocks over here, um, just sort of general wireframe blocks as well as uh, premium blocks. Uh, let me give you an example of what that might look like. So uh, here's a block, uh, which is a, um, a countdown timer uh, on the top of a site. Uh, let's, let's get rid of that and let's put in just some general other blocks. So uh, let's go with um, some sort of I don't know, a cover. So you can see here's some pretty basic ones um, over on the left hand side. And all I need to do is click it, and suddenly I have it now right here, and I can then adjust it. Now I can put in uh, a logo here. Um, this can be a, uh, a navigation bar for, the, for an entire site or just for this page. Um, and of course, I have total flexibility of, of things I want to change here uh, if, I, if I choose to. Uh, again, let me just get out of here. Uh, and we will go back and go into some of the premium blocks. So you can see what some of these covers look like. So you know, here's an example of you know, a fun image that you can change out in the background. Simply click on it, and then I hit background, and I can actually change the image. So if I want to browse for an image that I have, uh, I can even type in. Uh, I'm do a lot in the wine industry, so I'll type in wine, and let's see. I can you know use this. Uh, which is included in the platform. It's uploading an image of some, some wine bottles, and then um, it, it, I have the ability to add that to the platform. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and choose that. Oh, I unchose un it. Select, that's what I wanted to do. And now it should swap that out. Actually, it looks like I chose the wrong area to put that in. So let's put that, oops, let's go back, undo. So you can see how easily I can fix things that I've done here. All right, so this was, as opposed to this, this is what I wanted to change out. So I'm going to change background there, and I want to go ahead and remove this, and then I'm going to put in uh, the other image that I had chosen, which was the wine bottles. And there we go. All right, now I have the correct image in here. And then I can go ahead and put a logo. I can, you know... Um, change the headline, however I want to do this, and then I can create an, a link. Uh, I can then you know, send people to another page on the site. So you can see how very, very simple this is. Really, really clean. Um, let's let's add some more blocks to this just to take a look and see what else we have uh, the ability to do. So let's say I want to do some features. You can see, all right, underneath this, maybe I want to put another, I want to put a set of features. All right, so now uh, we have, oops, I, I put it in the wrong place. But look, look how easily I can move it from one spot to the other. All I need to do is, is drag it, and then I can move it to this location. And now I have this piece and then the feature piece underneath it. Uh, let's see what else we want to add. Um, so after this, I want to add, we'll go ahead and do that. And I want to add another block. Let's see. Uh, we'll do some content. Uh, let's put some content down here. Oh, again, I put it in the wrong place, but I can easily just drag it and drop it underneath, and now I have it in that location. And again, I can change whatever I want to here. Let's say now I want to put a footer on here, and so we'll put a footer on there. Again, I put it in the wrong place, uh, easily just drag and drop that, and now I got the footer in here. Um, obviously, some kinks I need to work out in terms of how to get things in the right place, but you can see how quickly and easily I've already uh, built out uh, a, a single page. Now I just need to have to, you know, drop in my content. But let's have a look at it. Let's see what it might look like. Uh, so I have my page here uh, with the the image that I put in the background. Um, I put those four blocks on there. Super super clean. 
and uh, I you know have the ability to go ahead and publish this uh, right away. Now, this is as I said, not just a uh, landing page builder. It's not just a uh, funnel builder. Uh, it is a full website builder, which gives me the ability to put you know navigation bars on the top of a site, for example. Let's see, you know, here's a uh, here's a nav bar, and now I can have a navigation bar up here, uh, and this can you know be set up to work on different pages of different sites. In this case, I'm on the home page, but if I want to add additional pages. Well, let's go ahead and add um, random page. So, you know, what do, what do we want to call this? We can call this page two. Um, now I have page two in the navigation. See how intuitive it is about setting up uh, those additional things. So now I have nothing on page two, but you can see uh, if I change the name of it, uh, we'll rename it um, uh, about. All right. So now it is called about. If I go back here, we now have about instead of page two. So this is the type of stuff that makes it super, super simple to be able to build out uh, a full site in no time at all and then go ahead and publish it directly on either uh, a subdomain of Groove Pages or your own custom domain or a custom subdomain. So, you know, um, uh, you know, landing page dot my website dot com, for example. So uh, you also have the ability to do pop ups, create a new pop up. And you can see there are standard pop ups, uh, entry pop ups and exit pop ups. So these will all um, be able to be. So let's say, you know, if we type entry and we have this showing up at a particular um, interval after after uh, somebody arrives on the page. Uh, let's say we want to have it a uh, six second delay uh, and I want it to show it only on somebody's first visit. So that's going to be uh, based on what the browser, uh, you know, identifies as somebody uh, from that particular uh, site visiting uh, or from that particular uh, IP address visiting the site uh, for the first time. Now I can pick uh, one of these pre-designed pop-ups. Let's say I want this one. Uh, I can then go ahead and customize it. And, and you'll see there, there's going to be premium pop-ups as well. I put uh, an image over here, a little call to action, and uh, you capture their email address and uh, subscribe to the newsletter. Uh, in this case, um, I don't know how uh, the linking to your... Um, uh, your autoresponder works, but uh, I think that's uh, that's something I have not yet discovered. Um, but it's going to be as probably as intuitive as all of the rest of this. So um, I don't have too many concerns about uh, about the ability to uh, um, to do that. Uh, let's take a look over here. Uh, all right, let's close out this and let's close out the uh, the pop up as well. All right, so gotta get rid of it. I think. Oh, I think I want to go back to the main page. Well, I'm not quite sure how to get out of here. Uh, so <laughs> let's go back to the uh, main site if I can. Blocks. Nah. All right. Well, I will figure out at some point how to go. Oh, there we go. Uh, I've just done away with the uh, the pop-up for now. And again, it, you know, as soon as I learn navigation on this stuff, uh, it'll be a lot easier to, to be able to um, guide somebody through this. I'm um, playing with this, um, you know, pretty much the first time right now. Uh, you can see ease of access uh, during the beta, obviously, report bugs, request features, and then the roadmap is all right here. Let's go ahead and click on the roadmap just so you have a sense of what's being added. Um, it's a pretty extensive list of things that are planned, things that are already in progress, and things that will be completed. And these are all the different um, uh, additional features. So uh, in addition to Groove Pages, there's a uh, uh, Groove Cart, which is an e-commerce platform. There's Groove Cell, and they have additional um, tools that they are building out uh, as well um, for webinars, for email marketing, etc. that will all eventually be part of a suite. Um, so that's a quick introduction, uh, a, a quick first look inside of the new Groove Pages, uh, which will be coming to uh, um, a web browser near you starting December 8, 2019. Uh, and I will continue to play around with this and share more as I discover um, you know, all the new features that they are adding to this platform.